Let's look at problem three from chapter three, where we're supposed to make a bar chart indicating the salaries of scientists with various PhDs. So we're focusing on making a bar chart. Now here we've got the data for the various scientists with the different degrees of biology, chemistry, computer, computer science. That's not showing. Let's spread that out so we can get easier to see. Psychology, sociology, and their salaries. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to put this into a table. So we're going to go to the insert tab and then we're going to click on table and it asks us is this where we want the data for our table and it sure is. Our table has headers also so we click OK and now we can we can tweak this some. Let's let's change the title here for to category of scientist. That's a little clearer. Salary, we can change that to annual salary. That makes it a little bit more clear. Let's get the uh, this wide enough so that we can read everything. And let's make the C column wider also. Now let's uh, let's put this in a dollar format. The annual Salary column, column C, I'm going to go to home, and then I'm going to go to the number section. And I'm going to click on the one that says dollar format. And so there we have a, a, the annual salary formatted in dollars. Now the prompt also says sort the salaries from high to low. Now they're just kind of random. Uh, actually, it looks like they're in alphabetical order. Let's change the salary, sort by from the largest to the smallest. And there we have chemistry at the top and sociology at the bottom. Now we want to create a bar chart. And this is pretty easy. The main thing that we have to do is stick our, um, select a cell inside of our table, go to insert, go to the parts where they have the charts, choose the bar chart, and then choose the first 2D column chart. Column chart and bar chart are the the, the same thing. So we click that and let's move this down a little bit. And here we've got, we've got this annual salary. Let's change that to annual salary for various P, PhDs. That, that sounds clear. Is there anything else that we need to, uh, to, to change. That looks pretty good. We've got the salary here. The height of the bar indicates uh, how much uh, they make. We've got equal intervals on our y-axis. So you see that all of them get pretty good salaries, but there is some uh, difference. And so here we have a, uh, uh, a pretty decent bar, bar chart indicating an annual salary. Now it's interesting from a uh, if we want to look at this from a, a Christian perspective, as we have a tradition of doing here at Azusa Pacific University, one of the things that's really important whenever we talk about people's salaries is we don't think that people's importance is linked to their salary. From God's point of view, the person who makes the lowest salary, the person who is disabled and can't work, is no more valuable than the person who makes the greatest salary in the in the world. Um, money is not a measure of worth in God's eyes. He's looking at our heart and judging us according to what's going on in our thoughts and mind.